you tap on the different parts of the screen you to give them uh, uh, notes, and then you draw paths in between them, and then hit play. It's very simple stuff. Or you can start making it more complicated, have multiple paths. So this is a very simple thing in like 4-4, four, four, because there's only two pieces. Or we can also do more improvisation uh, types. And as you click on the screen, it jumps to that part of the uh, path, which, um, and therefore you can change it around every time they improvise. A modular synthesizer, the, where you can construct sounds by wiring together individual audio components. This is a sound output block. If you wanted to wire together a sine wave and, say, an amplitude envelope, you could just touch them at the same time and then press play sound. So if you add a square wave, it will sound much different. If you go and change the rate and the amount, you go to play it, it makes this little bubbling noise. You made Impact. It's an uh, intuitive drum kit creator. And you draw it either using a, a gesture of a pinch or free form by drawing it by hand. And then how you draw it can change how it sounds. So instead of a circle shape, you get a very distorted other sound instead. And then you can uh, set up a nice little loop here. Add more instruments. Tap on the chord in the chord bank to just play it. Or you can drag a chord into the sequencer. This touch box is what separates, separates this app from other apps. You can strum down on these strings. If you keep your finger on it and just keep strumming, it'll play the same chord. Once you let go, it, it steps forward to the next chord. My friend just made this out in the hallway, so I'll just put on the metronome. And if you mess up, you can always go back by tapping on the chord you want to start over with.